So how you doing? Pretty good. Yeah. Just sitting around mostly. Yeah. Went for a ride today. Oh, That's yeah? exciting. <laughs> Very exciting. So what was it like? What was it like? Yeah, coming out. It was surgery. quick. Yeah. It was quick. For you. We left on Friday and got a call that well, it was Saturday morning. And went back. We were already in Chicago. We went back. And then they said, it's Saturday. It's, it's, it's now. After they told us, it probably wouldn't be this weekend. Enjoy your weekend. It was within 14 hours. It was just uh, too quick. But even the surgery time was quick, it seemed like. It was quick. Yeah. Not for me. I had no idea. But yeah. Ron said, yes, it was quick. <laughs> yeah, we were expecting, you know, I think 16 hours. You know, like yeah, they eight. told us, yeah, 12, 8 to 12 hours. Yeah. But it was all God's timing. Yeah, sure. So how do you feel? Tired. Yeah? Do yep. you feel like you're breathing better? Oh, yeah. I don't use my oxygen at all. I do turn it on at night, but I don't need it. But I turn it on anyway. Just makes you feel better? Yeah. Yeah. They call it comfort. It's comfort. You know, you're used to it. It's like now if you leave home without your cell phone, right. yeah, of course my cell phone. That's kind of how I feel. Yeah. Oh, I don't have my oxygen on. I'm going to go to sleep. I need it. Right. But, wow. But I, like today, I left the house without it. Didn't need it. It was all good. So is the being tired part kind of normal? Yeah. So, I mean, it's not even been six weeks since surgery. So right. it's just that still sore. I mean, they, you know, opened your chest. Right. So it's going to be sore for a while. Everything healing okay? Yeah. Everything looks good. Um, it's everything is kind of up in the air with the whole corona thing. Yeah. Usually they don't let people go home at four weeks, but they knew I was safer at home than in the hospital. They pretty much closed everything up in the hospital. Right. In the hotel, they knew I was safer at home than at the hotel. So hmm. we're home. You're probably sleeping better, more comfortable. Um, well, mostly, yeah. There's still some times it's not great sleeping, but yeah. pretty much. Is that just because? Depends how you roll over. Because it's painful? Yeah. Yeah. Like, or if I get your cough, like last night I was coughed. So then, I'm, you know, then you're sore because you're using all those muscles that right. Right. you don't have to use. So what's your routine look like? Uh, lots of meds. Start with meds at nine. I mean, I, have a, I can see why you need a full-time caregiver. Ron does meds at nine, and I don't know how many he does, but it varies by the day. We do about... I think we've got 15 different meds. He's wow. shaking his head, yes. Um, that, those will be, um, be uh, whittling down to about seven once we're done with the initial hair. So within a couple of months, we'll be down just to seven, and those will just be pills. But now I can't have anything by mouth, so they're all, they all go my feeding tube. So he's got a crush pills up, all liquids, so he does them at nine, we do them at one, we do them at five, we do them again at nine. Now, will you so be on anti-rejection medicines the rest of your life? Yes. Yeah. Lungs are, um, your body is going to reject those anyway. They just, that's just the nature of it. So what they do is they monitor you and make sure, like, I have to go back next week, maybe, it depends if they're doing surgery or not, and they do a bronchoscopy to check for rejection for my lungs. They do that, like, one month, then at three months, and then nine months, and then a year, and then they just, because they keep monitoring, they want to, put off the rejection as long as they can. Right. I mean, then you can treat it. The rejection is treatable. It's not like, oh my gosh, you're rejecting and, you know, you're done. But they can treat it. They just have to monitor it. So. How's yeah. Ron doing? Uh, he was so excited to be leaving last, what was that, last week, whenever we left. He cried when the doctor told him. Oh. That we could come home. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Just, I mean, even though we had a suite and our room was, you know, wasn't like we were in one little hotel room. We needed, you need a little more space, you know. Right. And there were things he could do that he didn't have to just sit around. So at home, it's much better. Right. He's getting outside and doing some laundry, doing the guy stuff, you know. <laughs> yeah. And Ethan's there, right? And Ethan's here. Ethan, although Ethan's been at work, you know. So although I think Ethan enjoys that in his home though too, but yeah, yeah, it was a long time. But everything, you know, you come back and gee, there's still dust on the tables and you know, we didn't have time to clean all that stuff up before we left. 
and Ethan didn't do it while you were gone. Oh, heck no. His sister came and helped him clean up his mess. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. It was a growing it's experience for him too, right? It was a good experience for him. He liked being by himself and not having people boss him around all the time. And he did well. Good. Drove himself to work and did all that stuff. So that's good. Good wow. for him. Yeah. That's the goal, parents. Remember that. Yeah. That's Get right. your kids to be independent. Yeah, we know. Push them out as quickly yeah. as possible. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> We're working on it. We are. It's just take, some of it takes a little longer. Yeah. 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 Was there anything we can do for you? Uh, get this corona thing over. That would be great. We'll you know? work on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, would you? I mean, it's, it's really nice that everyone has joined me in this whole, you know, social distancing. I didn't have to worry about that at all because <laughs> people have their masks. They're all washing their hands. I don't have tons of people coming over, you know. It's, it's all great. for you, Kathy. I know it's all for me. I said, it's just like, I'd orchestrate so that I wouldn't miss, you know. Gee, I'd really like to go shopping. Sorry, there's nothing over. Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to do that, you know. So. Yeah, don't miss that. Just, but it is great to be home and be in my own mess, you know. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, we thought this would be great for the church. Everybody's just dying to see you. I'm so alive, so okay. kicking. Good. I wanted them to see you. I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, stay in touch, and we'll be in touch with you. Bye All right. Keep you. I know you have tons right. of things to do. <laughs> oh yeah, just uh, I got word searches to do. <laughs> and, uh, all kinds of stuff. <laughs> hey, they, they loved you. They were sending you the best they could. Yeah, they did. I, I, I've done one whole book. What do you know? What is there? Well, Good. You can probably get more if you need more. You like I, I got some. Sorry, right. I had a friend send a couple to the show. <laughs> I'm good for a while. All right. Well, we'll let you go. Thank you for doing this for us. All right. We'll see you. All right. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.